This is the way to the future. The journey began more than two decades ago. This is Wes. Westside Express Service, one of the first suburban to suburban commuter rail systems west of the Rockies. I think the, the coming of commuter rail, or the return of passenger rail to Wilsonville, is one of the most exciting things uh, to, to come to town. Just in time, too. Fuel prices are reaching historical highs with no end in sight. People are concerned uh, about greenhouse gases and global warming. They're also concerned, frankly, about four and five and six dollar a gallon gasoline. Commuter habits are changing with the times. Uh, my name is Charlotte Lehan. I'm the mayor of Wilsonville. I'd like and because to of careful you. planning and forward thinking two decades ago, smart buses and soon West trains are helping ease the burden. Uh, so with that, thank you all. Let's go ahead and board the trains. Now providing more than 300,000 rides a year, everyone benefits. Wilsonville's innovative employers, their diverse workforce, and everyone who calls Wilsonville home. How did we get here? And where do we go in the next 20 years? Wilsonville, a jewel of community and commerce, set in the green Willamette Corridor, just the right location for cutting edge businesses and access to world markets. And with the majority of its skilled labor coming from nearby communities, Wilsonville is experiencing significant growth. 20 years ago, they saw it coming. Transportation challenges that, if left alone, would harm the health of a young, yet robust economy. But Wilsonville has always been ahead of its time. City leaders, who have taken many risks to create a better future for Wilsonville, came up with the SMART solution. I'm especially proud of SMART being in Wilsonville and, and the role that Wilsonville took, which was very um, innovative at the time to break away. It was a little bit revolutionary. SMART came at the right time. Its creation allowed Wilsonville to drive its own future, foster innovation, and meet the challenges of a growing and productive community. Wilsonville has grown from perhaps five or 6,000 people 20 years ago to approximately 17,000 people today. There's no reason, given current economic trends and current growth patterns, I think that in 20 years, it's very likely our population will be almost double what it is today. Bearing out earlier predictions, SMART has seen an explosion in ridership in just 20 years. Wilsonville is the fifth fastest growing city in Oregon. And given the estimates, SMART expects to double current ridership by 2015. Well, Wilsonville, more than any other city in Oregon, and frankly, more than any other city that I've visited in my work across the country, is right in between two metropolitan areas. Uh, more recently, we've been working with Washington County, um, uh, the state of Oregon, um, Clackamas County, Wilsonville, looking at other transportation alternatives, particularly this commuter rail. It's going to be a source of community pride. It's going to help revitalize areas where there are station stops, and it's going to give individuals choices about how they're going to move. So while the West commuter rail is just in time for the next 20 years, the new rail line didn't just happen. It was Wilsonville's visionary and innovative thinking that led the project forward. I've been very impressed with SMART's response to commuter rail is that I think we are perhaps a bit ahead of the other stations in terms of our planning to meet the trains with our, um, with our buses. So we want them to be able to get to their job within 10 minutes of when they arrive at the train station. This type of leadership, which allows for both well-timed and well-reasoned investments in the city's future, is the essential attraction to Wilsonville for world-leading firms like Xerox, Mentor Graphics, FLIR, and In Focus. Well, the transit system is going to, I think, give us an opportunity to create uh, Wilsonville, the destination. It's going to allow us to put uh, development and the smart system, for example, around that destination. We have over 180 employees that, uh, that are based here in our global headquarters. Uh, they're employees that, that enjoy working here and enjoy living in the area as well. 
The Wilsonville community is fortunate to have a strong and vibrant economy, and yet there is no time like the present. As the city grows, so do the challenges of growth and its responsibilities in the region. We know now that I-5 and 217 are some of the most congested roads in our region. Um, and we know, also know that widening them or improving them are going to be continually harder and harder to do over time and more and more expensive. So providing some options for people who can take advantage of them seems like a very logical thing to do, particularly given that this is an existing corridor and we can share the cost of maintaining the corridor with the existing freight operation. So it proves to be, I think, a very cost-effective way to provide new mobility choices for people in Wilsonville and in the whole 217 I-5 corridor. As we've seen, Wilsonville can't afford to waste time. Sprawl, traffic, lost productivity, delayed shipments all can affect not only the economic viability, but the livability in the region. I think connections are important for both the employers and the employees through all of the transit systems. So uh, this new train, Smart, TriMet, CAT, if all of those could connect evenly and easily and, and singular connections, I think it would be a really cool thing and a lot of people would use the, the service. Everyone understands that it's going to take three to tango, not just two. It's going to take three of those entities, people, business and government, working cooperatively together to create far-reaching, new, visionary types of transit approaches, and that's what SMART's doing. New transit options, new connections, and new routes to get people where they want to go. Current business and civic leaders can follow their visionary predecessors and make sure Wilsonville chooses the right track to the future. SMART Central at Wilsonville Station. Moving forward for a greener tomorrow. Thank you, Wilsonville businesses, for supporting SMART. I'm very excited about the commuter rail coming because it'll give me the opportunity to look further out and not have to fight the traffic to get back and forth to work. We were just talking about what great opportunity it'll be for like all of the citizens and especially the youth and the, the workers. Um, I work at Key Bank. We have a lot of employees that live in the Tualatin Tigard area. So for them just to commute straight to work because the commuter rail line ends only blocks away from our, our key bank location. With the price of diesel at $4 a gallon, I figure I save over $200 a month by riding the smart bus. I can hardly wait to take back some of my time and not fight with the traffic. I'm excited about the train 